everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's ice cream look incorporates a little bit of SFX, a little bit of airbrushing using stencils. So if you'd like to see how I did this, then please keep watching. I prepped my skin using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And then I applied these foam latex pointy ears from Rubberwear. I first applied Prose to the outside of my ear. Once this is dry, just tap on it to make sure that it's nice and tacky before the application. I then lined up the prosthetic ear and stuck it on. And using a steel spatula, just make sure all those edges were tucked in nicely. To make sure the edges of the ear blended in nicely with my skin, I used liquid latex and just stippled that on with a sponge. I then use Alma's glue stick to conceal my eyebrows. I apply this going against the grain of the hair to make sure to get in between all those hairs. I then flatten the hairs by brushing them upwards using a spoolie before applying one more layer of glue. While the glue is drying, using my cellar water, I just cleaned any extra glue off my skin. I used my mini fan to speed up the drying process. I then set the brows using Mayron Color Set Powder, pushing it in with a dry beauty blender, making sure to fill in all those gaps. I brushed off any excess powder and then concealed them using Laura Mercier High Coverage Concealer. I set them one more time with the Mayron Color Set Powder. Next I used the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and applied this using a damp beauty blender. Making sure to blend this down my neck as well. To prep my eyelids, I use P. Louise Base in Rumour Shade 2, making sure to extend this all the way up into my brows. I concealed my under eye area using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in Shade 22. To do the shading on the face, I used the colours Azure, Ziggy and Lollipop from the Morphe 35B palette. I use the same three colours for the lid, first packing on the colour Azure on the outer corner of the lid, blending this colour outwards and right up into the brows using a fluffy brush. I then went in with the colour Ziggy and then finally Lollipop for the inner corner of the eye.
continuing with the color azure, I connected this to the underneath of the eye. And I used an SMRX color fix and lift to line my waterline. I used the same color and lift and a slanted brush to create a winged look. I then use the Makeup Forever Colour Airbrush in white for the outer corners of the face. I filled in my lips with the colour Lollipop from the Morphe 35B palette and I outlined them with the colour Azure. I created the snowflakes using my airbrush machine and the stencil that I bought from Amazon. I'll make sure to put the link in the description. If you don't have an airbrush, you can always use a sponge. Using a brush, I then flicked some specks of paint just to add to the snowing effect. To apply the crystals, I use Aquafix glue. Once the glue was dry and tacky, I began applying the crystals using this tool called a crystal katana. For the body, I began with this Makeup Forever Color Airbrush in dark blue. To create a lighter blue, I then mixed in some white and some of the silver just to create a gradient effect. I then mix this white with green just to create a lighter green as I wanted to incorporate the same shade that I had on my face. Using the stencil I then randomly airbrushed on some snowflakes. Again, using a brush, flicking some specks of white paint onto the body just to add to the snowing effect. I then applied some Aldora False Lashes in B801. And I used this Lid Lingerie Eye Tint in White from NYX Cosmetics as a mascara for the lower lashes. I then airbrushed the same Makeup Forever White into my hair. This isn't made specifically for hair but I've often used it and it doesn't seem to do any damage to my hair and it washes out really easily.
I attached the crown and then I added the same blue and green and airbrushed that onto the ears just so that everything matched up. As a final step I inserted some lenses off camera and this is the finished look guys, thanks so much for watching! If you liked this tutorial and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see any more tutorials like this then please make sure to subscribe!